my gosh, that's the doorbell. My lunch is here. Let's go and see what I got. Ah! <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Hotel Quarantine in Sydney, Australia. My name is Ollie, and in today's video I'm going to show you exactly what I eat in a day in hotel quarantine, locked up, can't go outside, can't leave my room, can't really do anything. It is Sunday, it is 8.30 and I just heard a knock on the front door. So come with me and let's see what I eat. I hope it's okay. So one thing that we have to do before we go to the door and get our food is to put our mask on. Um, the security guards out in the corridor and they're watching us. And they come in these little bags which I use as rubbish now. Open the door. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, so it normally comes with like this little sticker, and we're gonna have a look inside the box. Oh, we always get chobani, which is quite nice, a yogurt. We've got a little fridge that we can put that in if we don't want it now. <clears throat> and we've got some cornflakes. Now, we normally I've had three one litre like uh, long life milks, so again that we put that in the fridge and we get one of these in every every time we eat breakfast. Okay, this is going to be some sort of, let me pop you down there, this is going to be some sort of pastry. Ooh, looks like an apricot. What are they called? Apricot. I don't know. Apricot. Um, I don't know, you know. <laughs> terrible. But there it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks like an egg in the middle. And also we have a banana, shitty instant coffee, salt and pepper or sugar, and a tea bag. Pretty basic, right? Now there is a restaurant menu that you can order from. So you can order coffee, you can order juices and smoothies, you can order bacon and egg rolls and stuff like that. So it, you're not only limited to this, you actually have a hotel menu that you can that you can choose to eat from. However, I think like this is okay. Uh, and, and, and only sometimes I order uh, food from there. I also ordered uh, an Uber Eats from Woolies and I ordered coffee and I ordered a few little snacks as well so I wouldn't go hungry because the portion sizes, as you can see, if you're like a big guy or, 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 or you eat a lot, this is not a lot, okay? So <laughs> you can do a, a, an Uber Eats order from, from various places if you're hungry. But yeah, let's eat this. <laughs> so as I said, you can order coffee but every room, well my room anyway, has a kettle. So I'm just gonna, I ordered these. Uh, online the other day, so I'm just gonna use these to To drink coffee for the next week because I think in the first week I spent almost God I was having three coffees a day, so I spent almost what's that? Pretty much 80 bucks on coffee in the first week, and that's just ridiculous Especially because we're paying three thousand dollars for this room put the coffee in and it is ready to drink when I stir it My lunch is here as always Got to get the mask on. So I, don't, I don't know why I'm pointing up here. Got to get the mask on, and then we can go out and sneak the food. Ooh, I imagine it's going to be a salad or a sandwich or something like that. It's never hot. It's never hot this one, but that's fine. Okay, so they actually do give us a menu for the week, but I never look at it because I kind of like the idea of the suspense of, oh, what am I going to get today? Because obviously, you know, I'm locked in this room. I'm going to give you a room tour as well when I clean up, when I tidy up. But there's nothing else to do. So, as I predicted, we've got the salad. I don't know if you can see that. It looks good. Chicken and avocado. Now, I think they have weekly menu times, menus, weekly menus, because... I had this last Sunday, and actually the food that I got la yesterday um, and on Friday night was exactly the same as what I had in week one. So you would think that they would like do a two week uh, menu or something like that to keep it simple. We always get a piece of fruit, it varies. I've had an orange, I've had an apple, I've had banana, and I've had a pear. And sometimes we get like a little fruit pot, uh, it'll have pineapple, watermelon, uh, apple inside, it's quite small. 
And always for lunch and dinner, we get a water bottle. So that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, lunch is pretty good. So it's the moment you have all been waiting for. A tour of my house slash apartment slash hotel room. Come on, let's have a look. Okay, we're gonna start in the bathroom. And this is the bathroom. They give us washing up stuff to wash our dishes, which I dry there. Uh, they gave us shampoo and conditioner. There's my little stuff. Have a bath. I did just, just did some washing. I dry the towel there. <laughs> Got some more hanging up there. Obviously the toilet and the shower. It's pretty simple. Our sheets get changed every four days and I try and, you know, put the old sheets out when the new sheets come. Uh, and yeah, we wash up in this little sink. It's not very big, but uh, it's fine. So, let's continue. So if we come out here, I think every hotel room has like a cupboard and I've got an iron, a, a hair dryer to dry my beautiful hair. And this is where the magic happens. I'm pretty impressed with my room actually, because I've got two beds. My brother, who has just um, moved into a hotel room because he just got back from France, him and his fiance only have one bed between two people. So this is my day bed, where I lay and watch TV during the day. And then I sleep in that bed over there, just because why not have a day bed and a night bed? And as you can see, my day bed is where I store everything. <laughs> I have my luggage here, because I don't really use this section. And I, I do my workout like right here um, during the day. Um, this is like where I keep my kettle. Uh, I said that they gave you gave me plates and stuff. You get them for the two weeks um, and you have to wash them up yourself. And I've just got some extra food that I haven't eaten. Um, and this is all like the formal documents that you get given when you're when you're when you first move in. This is that's the rubbish. This is the fridge that I was talking about. It's not very cold, uh, but it's fine. This is the milk that they get that they give you. I got one on day one, day four, and day seven. Bit of cheese, chobani, orange juice. I actually bought that myself. Uh, and then you can buy beer. You can buy beer. I bought. You can have six a day. Six beers or one bottle of wine. I think I might buy a bottle of wine tonight, actually. Have a little drink. The TV has Foxtel and everything like that. This is my desk area, which has been good. It actually came with a um, ethernet cable and it plugs in there, which is good because I work online. So I'm happy with that. They call every day to see how we are, except when we get tested. This is where I do reading. <laughs> um, and my view is pretty good, you know. I've got a view of the Commonwealth Bank, and actually Darling Harbour over in the distance. I'll try and zoom in. Not bad. And I play a game, count the cars. So I think today there's been a couple of thousand cars. Oh, there's some fast cars going up there now. That's a tour of my bedroom. I hope you enjoyed it. Get ready for what's coming for dinner. I don't know, let's guess. Maybe it'll be chicken, beef, who knows, right? So I just ordered room service. Uh, and it has just arrived. I got a sh chicken schnitzel and some beers to celebrate my last week in quarantine. Let's open the door and see what we can get. My beers. And my food. So I got the Mountain Goat Pale Ale, which you saw, which you can see me ordering now. Put that straight in the fridge. And I also got a chicken schnitzel because you can't get a good chicken schnitzel anywhere else in the world other than in Australia. So let me show you exactly what this chicken schnitzel looks like. So here it is, the big reveal, the big reveal. Oh, would you look at that? Chicken schnitzel, chips and salad. There's no gravy, but I've asked for it um, to be delivered. So I'm very excited. So my dinner came at about six o'clock tonight, which is a bit weird because it's normally been coming at around, you know, quarter to seven, seven, 20 past seven. So it's a little bit annoying that you don't really know what time uh, the dinner is coming. And dinner's always hot. And because I had the chicken schnitzel like an hour ago, I'm not hungry. So, oh, I think this is just gonna go to waste because there's no uh, microwave here. Actually, I'm definitely gonna eat that because that looks like beef, potato, 
engravy carrot, I think. And we always get dessert. It's pretty much the same. It's just like this pinky, pinky thing. We always get a side salad and a water. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna eat that even though I'm not really hungry. And that's it. That's what I eat and do in a day here um, in hotel quarantine. I have five nights, including tonight, to go. And then I'm free back in the community after two and a half years of living abroad in South America. If you're interested in South America, make sure you check out all of my videos that I made across Bolivia and Brazil. And if you're new here and if you're still watching, uh, thank you very much. Uh, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot more videos now that I'm in Australia and I'm really excited to take you on a journey, you know, going from South America to Australia. So thanks again and see you next time.